Hey, welcome to Singapore. So I'm excited. This is my first day here and I can't wait to show you around the city. So these are my first impressions here. So that being said, let's go and explore this beautiful city. Today we're going to see many things, but first let's start off with Singapore's Riverside. So the Riverside is massive and right behind me are a bunch of tall buildings. You can see they have a lot of massive buildings here. And this is the banking district, I believe, like there's Bank of China. Ooh, check out this statue. So cool. I'm walking along the riverside right now and as you can see in front of me there are a bunch of restaurants over here seems like a really nice place fortunately it's 10 30 in the morning so there's it's not like a happening area right now oh wow look at these some white crabs cool chinese restaurant you get roasted chicken whole one for 15 singapore dollars which is like around 12 dollars usd show you a bit of the menu over here but i've noticed most of the places over here are indian or uh Chinese oriented because in Singapore there's a lot of Chinese and Indian people. As I'm walking along this road, I happen to come across this alleyway over here, which is something interesting about this alleyway. You might look at it, it looks like a normal alleyway to you. If you really look deep, look how many AC units they have over here. So many, literally there's hundreds of AC units because Singapore does get very hot. I'm wearing a t-shirt and some shorts right now and oof, I'm burning up and it's only 10.30 in the morning. Okay, I just realized I forgot something at my hotel, so let me show you where I'm staying at. So my hotel is somewhere over here. I'm going to go to it in just a second, and I'm staying at a capsule hotel. So if you've never seen what a capsule hotel is, I'll, I'll show you in just a sec. Okay, this is inside of my capsule hotel. This is my capsule over here. Oh, sorry if I'm talking so low. Okay. Uh, so this is my hotel room in Singapore. Let me show you. So it looks like we're in a spaceship, but it's not. You can change the lights over here. And yeah, because Singapore is a really expensive city, so this is why I chose the capsule hotel, because it's nice, comfortable. And I only paid, uh, like, I forgot how much, like $25. I put the price on the screen, so yeah. Anyways, let's go out and see what else we can find in Singapore. We in downtown Singapore. Check it out. So this is how the downtown area looks like. So stay tuned, I'm about to show you more of the downtown area and also the iconic sites of Singapore. Oh, time to cross the street. This is what I'm talking about. So we just got to the Bay Area. So here's Marina Bay Sands building. And on top of it, there's an infinity pool. Then right over there is the Science Museum. Over here is the Marina Bay building, and here's a shopping center that's connected to the building. And see this skyline. Ooh, so nice. Magnificent. So anyways, let's go inside the shopping center and see how it is. Okay, we just entered the shopping center. Over there they have Black Tap, which they have amazing burgers ate there in Dubai. This is the mall in a nutshell. So it has a lot of restaurants and then just some places to buy clothing like the Puma store. But check around over here. I just saw this building, it looks like a planet. Let me go outside and show you. Wow, look at this building. I've never seen a building shaped like this, have you? Let me know. Let's see what's inside. I think it looks like an Apple store, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, just walking around. This is an Apple store. I'm just walking around the building, I can just tell. That's the most uniquely designed Apple store I saw in my life. Man, I'm loving these views. Well, here's another side of the mall. I didn't know this mall was really massive, actually. So the side we went to was like on the left. And here's the center part of the mall. And if you can see, there's water inside of the mall and you go on a little boat ride. So we have just arrived at the Art Science Museum. That's how it looks like up close i thought it'd be a lot bigger but still nice and then over here we have some lily pads and then we have some beautiful flowers Let's see if we get close up on one of the flowers so just across from this art science museum 
is this beautiful bridge and it looks like a lot of people are taking pictures so let's investigate and check it out oh and then over there is a big observation wheel okay so we're on this bridge wow look at the design of this and this also has some amazing views so currently we're at gardens by the bay which is a famous green area here in singapore so the first area we're going to check out in gardens by the bay is silver garden wow check out these trees so these are man-made trees and they light up at night time but unfortunately we're here during the day and then right in front of us is the most iconic building here in singapore it's called marina bay sands building it has a casino has a convention center and much more if you want to see more about that i did make a part one to this video So let me show you Gardens by the Bay map. So here's the map over here. As you can tell, this area is gigantic. We just went to like one area over there. Some of these areas you do have to pay money for and some of these areas are for free, just like the area we just went to. And then the ticketing office is right over there and I'll let you know the ticketing price in just a second. Here's the ticketing office. And just from what I'm looking at, the standard rate for a non-resident for adults is $28. And for children three to 12, it's 15 Singapore dollars. Under three is for free. So for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna buy a ticket because this is my first impressions of Singapore. So I wanna see a bunch of the city as much as I can today. Over here, they have Shake Shack, one of my most favorite burger places. Let's go inside and eat because I'm starving right now. Here's the menu real quick. We're gonna go for this bad boy over here, the chicken burger. Okay, just got my food. I got chicken burger over here. So there's coleslaw and uh, pickles on it. And it's spicy as well. And I got water, stay hydrated. Always gotta have your water. Okay, so this is the first bite. This one, huh? Wow, this chicken is really tasty. It's juicy too because uh, it's made from chicken thigh. Crispiness from the outside, the coleslaw and the pickle. Can't go wrong with this. Wow, check out this dragon statue over here. I love to see so much greenery in a big city like Singapore. It's so nice because you get the contrast of like the concrete jungle and then you get the real jungle. Victoria Lily Pond. Wow, look at this. I just found cactuses over here. I did not know Singapore had cactuses. Reminds me of Arizona. Check it out. These are some gigantic aloe vera plants. I've never seen aloe vera plants this big. Usually they're like small, like, like these or something. Okay, right now I'm struggling not to go to sleep right now because I'm very jet lagged. I just arrived from London and you know, London and Singapore has a big time difference. So please hit the like button. Smash it actually, just because. Oh, this building over here looks magnificent. And I just found a sandy area. First time I see sand in Singapore. Wow, look at this view. Thank God the rain has stopped. And this is the kids area while it's working. And it's free to, if you do have a kid, it, I just ask, it's free to go inside. So I'm back at the center part of Gardens by the Bay. I just wanna show you that they do have McDonald's. It'd be really nice to grab some ice cream right now. They have Starbucks and then they got these super trees again. These look bigger than the ones we previously saw. So if you do come to Singapore, keep in mind, you'd probably spend a whole day or two over here because this area is so massive. Unfortunately for this video, I'm not gonna be able to show you everything that this place has to offer, but just remember, if you ever do come to Singapore, come to Gardens by the Bay. So as I'm walking to our next destination, I found this place in the park where you can play musical instruments. Like, here, check it out. Oh, 
awesome. They also have this too, different types of drums. Really cool. Man, this makes me feel like a kid again. All right, welcome to Singapore's Chinatown. So we're right outside of the metro station over here. And then you can see across from us is a shopping mall. There's some places to eat, so let's investigate. Time to enter the shopping mall over here. But before we do, let's just see what they're selling. All these different types of foods. So that's like $1.20 Singapore dollars. So that's like about like 90 cents USD. Got money exchange over here. Another money exchanger. So if you want to exchange money, this is the place where you want to go. It's a little bird's eye view of the shopping center. So there's a lot of stores here that sells clothing and other stuff like shoes over there. And there's also like some massage places over here. Hi. Yeah, let me just show you the prices real quick. So 30 minutes is 25 Singapore dollars. Not bad. Foot, relax, 45 minutes. Yeah, so you get, you get an idea of the prices. So I've just entered into this Chinese store over here. So the, all these products come from mainland China. Wow, check out this robot. I've never seen this before. No, 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 he's only shit. Wow. Have you ever seen this at a grocery store? I've never seen this in my life. Oh wow, this drink takes me back to China. This is called Mai Dong. It looks kind of different in mainland China, but it's famous. And if you know, you know. It's really good on a, like, a hot, sunny day. Selling it for like 1.5 Singapore dollars. Not bad. They got different flavors as well. And there's a robot again tripping up. Yeah. Booyah. All right, so I ended up buying the drink. Delicious. Really brings back memories of China. And uh, right across from us is a massive food court, so let's go inside and check it out. Start investigating. You see, some people over here are eating hot pots. It's famous in China. This place has so many different types of things. A lot of people are drinking alcohol as well. Wow, this place is so massive for the types of juice you get. Carrot juice for two Singapore dollars. Wide selection. Hi. Wow, this market goes on forever. And there's something I want to show you. So when you're finished with your meals, you should return your trays, right? But in Singapore, there's a lot of Muslims. So they have this thing where you return the trays where it says non-halal, and then they have a place where it is to return your trays for halal. So they don't even want to mix the trays, the same food, if it's halal or non-halal. They keep the trays separate. So you have this big, busy road over here. It reminds me so much of Hong Kong. And also, people in Singapore drive on the left side. They don't drive on the right side of the road. And let me just show you this pedestrian walkway here in Chinatown. It's really nice. And has uh, like, you can see a lot of trees and stuff just in the middle of the city. And got this. This is a really cool architecture. This is Chinatown Street Market. Let's see what kind of products they're selling. Wow, you can see all the lights pretty well lit up. So on our left, I just want to comment about this fruit. If you know, you know. It's called durian. It's a really tasty fruit. Some people. Very good. Very good? Yeah, it's a, really, it's a really tasty fruit to some people and it's very smelly too. Other people hate it, so you either love or hate it. I like it on pizza, believe it or not. I used to go to China, when I was in China, sorry. I used to eat this pizza, durian pizza. It was actually quite tasty. Let's see what other products they're selling. T-shirts. Some face masks. 
Man, living in London the past couple of months, I forgot about face masks. And then coming back to Asia, this reminds me, the pandemic is not over. Duty free perfume. It's probably not real perfume. Chinatown Heritage Center. Surprise, this is in the middle of the week and it's still pretty crowded right now. $5 for the Singapore t-shirts, $25 Singapore dollars for that Chinese dress. Let's investigate some more. So I hope you guys have having a good idea of Singapore's nightlife. Right now it's around, what time is it? It's around 8 o'clock at night. 8, 10 to be exact. A lot of souvenir shops. These water fountains look nice. Let's cross the streets. See what else we could find in the Chinatown Street Market. Magnets one for three, four for ten. This is a convenient shop over here selling some Chinese products. All right, that's about it. Let me see if I find anything else. Oh, durian three for ten. Not a bad deal. One for five, I guess it just depends on like how much it weighs. Hey everyone, welcome to another beautiful day here in Singapore. So I'm currently at this place called Sky Garden. You see around me, so we're on the 51st floor of this building and you can see a whole panoramic view of this beautiful city of Singapore. Okay, so this is the front entrance of Sky Garden. So we're on the 51st floor and now let's explore. You can see literally this is a garden in the sky with 51 floors up in the sky and look at all this greenery. Do you expect that? Wow, check this out guys. This is how Singapore looks like. Wow, I'm loving the views of the skyline in Singapore. There's so many massive buildings here. This really reminds me of Hong Kong, but I think actually Hong Kong is bigger than Singapore. It's a pretty massive city. I love to see like all this greenery as well. Nice. So this is a really nice place to take photos. As you can see, many people are taking photos over here. All right, this is what I'm talking about, guys. So we're, there's the Marina Bay area. This is where we're at yesterday. So if you want to see the full video of that, come check out my YouTube video I made just before this one. Well, if you notice behind this building, there's so many ships over there. Because Singapore is one country that's great for trading because it's in between so many different trading routes. Wow, I didn't notice how many ships they have over here. There's hundreds. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video of going to Sky Garden. And to finish off the video, I'm hungry. So I just came to McDonald's to get the three hot cakes. And we have this chicken sausage, hash brown, and the coffee all for 8.2 Singapore dollars. I'll put the price in USD on the screen. That being said guys, uh, if you want to catch up with me all the time, follow me on Instagram if you still haven't already. And please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace guys. Eat this food and see what's up.